Um, what would you say to the people that I feel like leading up to the pandemic, there was a lot of talk of like, oh, there's about to be another real estate crash, like happens every 10 years, like blah, blah, blah. And then even when the pandemic was happening, you know, a lot of people were scared that landlords weren't going to get their rent paid. And like, it was just a bad time for real estate. You know, I'm a little bit invested in real estate, but not nothing like crazy. So, you know, what would you say to people that, you know, because stocks are crazy right now. People are really investing in stocks heavily. Heavily, yeah. Um, do you think people should be scared of like real estate? Um, like no. whether it's stocks or like REITs or like just the market in general, do you think do you think it's coming like a crash is coming or do you think that's bullshit? Um, no, because even I was watching uh, the Fed chairman uh, Powell talk today. Yeah, he ain't letting anything slide. He's like, no, nah, I'm paying. What do you need? Uh, yeah, exactly. No, no, Any exactly. money you need, I got you. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's the only reason why I say that. And he even he even spoke on this topic in his uh, you know interview that he was doing. And he was saying that yeah, basically they're doing everything in their power to make that not the case. He's saying this is very different than the recession in you know oh seven. Yeah, because that's what I was going to ask you. I wonder if it's like when something that bad and catastrophic happens, it almost makes you better prepared in the future yeah and they're almost being overly cautious now oh yeah so what would you say to someone who just doesn't fully understand all this stuff like what was the difference between that time era you know because i know there was a lot of shady loans happening exactly versus exactly. now exactly. and the big short is a great movie to watch right, i too. love that movie yeah 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 so so yeah i mean those yeah there was a lot of bad loans that were in fraud that was happening in the industry at that time and then mortgage. and there was and there was people like buying they were shorting the loans which yeah. is what the movie was about yeah, yeah. so it was like bad loans and then on top of it people hoping that the loans essentially yeah, go default yeah that's yeah. kind of the idea yeah because because all of those loans were based on like no documentation and a huge amount of them and then a lot of them were being packaged as like grade a plus you know what i mean loans and stuff like so, that so. so would you say that ish a lot of the issue was how they were labeling it to yeah. the government and to just the people in general, like the market. It's like everyone thinks like, oh, the market's great, but really they're labeling the the quality of the loans improperly. Exactly. And okay. and and just originating it based on there's there was no for the most part, like the people that I know that are older in the industry, they say, oh, you know, back then, if you had a pulse, you can get a loan. You can you can be. <laughs> An animal and get a loan. <laughs> so it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more regulated now. Is what you're saying? Oh no, no, no. Because you're a loan officer. That's part yeah. of what you do. Oh, you yeah. give out loans. Yeah. So I mean, you're telling us we got from your mouth. It's a lot more regulated oh, now. It's, it's harder. So much more regulated. This isn't. This like, isn't 2007, 2008 right now. Yeah, no, the the Consumer Financial Prote Protection Bureau, the CFPB, was not even in existence back then, and that was something that was created as a result of the Dodd Frank Act. Which was something that was created as a you know result of that to protect the consumer against you know this kind of behavior again from people in that industry, yeah. um, and now it's there you know back then loan off loan officers didn't even have to have a license now you're required to have an NMLS license like it's a it's much more regulated but now um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are you know government sponsored entities now so there's a lot of government involvement on you know uh, conventional loans and all that stuff so. There's, there's, I mean, yeah, there's so, so many protections that are put in place now. So that's not, that's not the case of what's causing this recession. This recession is actually caused by the government telling you, hey, everyone, you guys can't go to work. You know what I mean? So yeah. I would take that recession any day over something that was like the 2007, 2008 recession, because this is actually government Im implemented. Government caused this. And that's what uh, Chairman Powell was saying today. Like, we caused this. So we have to take, go through, you know, extended right. measures. To it wouldn't be sure. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that would, that would be like where, yeah, that's like, like I'm sitting here. Like, I don't know if I'm going to play a show till 2021. And it's like, yeah, I was playing shows every weekend before that. You right. know? So, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so, so as a loan officer, do you make money based on how many loans you're giving out or is, it, is that commission based or no? Oh yeah. It's commission based. Cause, cause I'm at a place that's a brokerage. Okay. So it's, it's all based on the deals that you do, but there's, and even people that are at banks can be set up with that structure. But I do know some people at a, like a bank I bank with East West bank. Yeah. They're really great. Check them out. Um, yeah. Shout them out. Hell yeah. But yeah, my friend that's a loan officer there. She's, uh, she's salary. Okay. Um, but it's, 
they flood her with work though. Yeah. So I kind of like being like overwork her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for like her, you know, and I, I think it's like it's, punching in and punching out. Like. And exactly. so like for a job like this, which is so interesting because I don't know if people know this, my mom is a loan officer and oh, no. she works for a really big credit union in Minnesota. Nice, um, nice. But I've never really asked her about what she does. But um, do you need any schooling or like any licensings to be a loan officer at all? Or? Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. The NMLS license. OK, you have to OK, have that. you do. Yeah. OK. And how long does something like that take? But some but some banks, though, uh, not not very long. There's okay. different uh, like six months vibes or like. No, there's even accelerated courses where you can do it a lot sooner than. Oh, that. shit. OK. Yeah, but okay. There's some sometimes though banks will let you. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I've, I've heard that some some banks, some bankers have said that they didn't have to do the same NMLS stuff that we have to do as independent loan officers. So, OK. Yeah. Wow. So that's kind of, yeah, that's so interesting. It's like I could just like take, you know, do a six month course and then independently I'm I'm illegally allowed to give out loans. Or do you have to partner with like a specific bank? That oh no, wants? you have to you have to be endorsed by a company. So that, that bank. Oh, like what do you mean? Like uh, like so, I'm at Malibu Funding, so they have to actually like endorse you as as you have the relationship with them, right? So they they kind of oversee what you're doing. So that, you're, that's considered like a real estate company. Well, yeah, like but it's a mortgage brokerage. Yeah. Oh okay, okay, I get it. This is all making more sense. Yeah, it is. I'm like, I didn't Feel know more shit about this. Now. I'm Me about to go too. buy a foreplay. Yo, low key, we about to go live in a little foreplay. Yeah, so man. Cool. FAH, where you at? Yeah. 